TypeScript is a really nice language to work with, and especially if you can get your development environment set up in a way that works for you. In today's video, we're going to look at how to set up TypeScript in Visual Studio, including installing it, configuring it, running it, and debugging it. There are two ways to use TypeScript in Visual Studio code. You can either use it installed globally on NPM or installed locally in your project. I'm going to cover using it globally first, and then we'll look at how you run it when TypeScript is installed in your current project afterwards. NPM has a concept of global packages. So that's a package that's been installed with the npm-g flag. These packages are installed onto your local machine. If you're interested, they go into user local lib on Unix systems or app data roaming npm in the user folder of a Windows machine. When you have an npm package installed globally, you can access it from any command line window and you'll be using the same version anywhere you use it. For TypeScript, we can install that globally by running npm install g TypeScript, like this. You can check it's been installed and you can see the version by running tsc dash dash version. So let's open up Visual Studio Code and create a new TypeScript file somewhere in here. I'll put one line in a TypeScript file to just log out to the console. Now let's compile this TypeScript file using the globally installed version of TypeScript. So open up a terminal. It doesn't have to be the terminal included in VS Code, but I'm going to use that. Just run tsc index.ts. You can see that this creates the JavaScript file up here next to our TypeScript file. This is the compiled JavaScript from our TypeScript source code. I can add some more TypeScript into my TS file. So let's declare a variable with a type and then run TSC again. And you can see that compiles down to JavaScript again. The JavaScript version in this case is exactly the same, but it's removed this type declaration on the first line because that's a TypeScript thing, not a JavaScript thing. We can run this JavaScript file using Node.js by just typing node index.js into the terminal. And you can see that this prints out our string down here. That's the console.log line in our file. Right, this is the simplest way to get started, but TypeScript have a ton of configuration settings that let you fine tune how it does this compilation step into JavaScript. You can start modifying these settings by adding a tsconfig.json into the root of whatever directory you have open in VS Code. So this way, when we run the tsc command to compile your TypeScript, you can leave off the name of the TypeScript file and just do tsc by itself. TypeScript will recognize that you have this tsconfig file here, and it will use any settings that you configure in here during the compilation step. So for example, we can add some compiler options, and then we can add this outdir field to tell Skype TypeScript to put the compiled files into a new folder. That's the output directory. Now I've linked the full tsconfig reference on the TypeScript website. You'll find that in the video description below. But VS Code actually knows the schema of this tsconfig file. So you can do a control and space or command space on the Mac, and that will open up IntelliSense to show you all of the possible options that you can put into your TypeScript configuration file. So that's kind of neat. You don't need to be constantly jumping back into the TypeScript website to read the documentation. You've got it right here at your fingertips in VS Code. You can also hover over the field names like this, and you can read whatever these fields do. One more thing to note, if you don't want to be constantly going down to the terminal and typing TSC every time you change something, then you can run TypeScript in watch mode by doing TSC dash dash watch. Or well, there's also this shortcut in VS Code for Control Shift B, which brings up this build task menu. And you can see from here, um, we can do build or we can do a watch immediately from the window. So once we have the TypeScript compiler running in watch mode, then we can modify the contents of this TS file and the resulting JavaScript will be compiled immediately, as you can see here on the right. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there are two ways that we can use TypeScript in Visual Studio Code, either globally or locally. So far, we've been using the global version of TypeScript that was installed with npm install-g. But what if you're working on a project that has TypeScript installed locally in the project, and you want to use that version in Visual Studio Code instead of the global version? 
Now I've got a simple project here with a package.json and TypeScript installed. So see here I've got a package.json file and with one dependency TypeScript. Now note the version of TypeScript that I've installed in my project is version 4.1.6 and that's different to the global version that we're using in the previous step. So if I open up a terminal and type in tsc dash dash version, you can see that globally I've got version 4.8.3 installed. I mean, these are the same major version, but it could be that you know, you've got different major versions as well. So when you're compiling TypeScript, if you've got a version in your project like we've got here, you probably want to be using that version for the compilation step and not the global version, because that means you'll get the same results as other people that are using this project and collaborating on it. So the way you do that is you can do it inside an NPM script or something that uses the local version of TypeScript. So if we put an NPM script in here that just says version, and then do tsc dash dash version here. Instead, if I do npm run version, what that will do is it will run that npm script, which will run inside the node modules folder, so it will lose the local version of TypeScript compiler. So if I run this, we should see that this gives us version 4.1.6. So by running TypeScript like this inside an npm script, we're using the local node modules version of TypeScript and not the global version. So we could, of course, just put TSC here or TSC build and do that again. I'll call this script build now. And then this should um, build the project using the local version of TypeScript and not the global version. Now, the other thing to note when you're doing this and switching between local and global versions is that all of the help, all of the IntelliSense and all of the errors the Visual Studio gives you, you need to tell it which version of TypeScript that you're using for those help and those errors. And the way you can do that is if you open up a TypeScript file, you'll get this little version number in the bottom right hand corner here. And if you click on that, you'll get this box that says open select TypeScript version and it will give you the options. So Visual Studio Code comes with a version of TypeScript installed. You can see it's version 4.3.2, but also we can use the workspace version, which is our 4.1.6 that we've got in the package JSON. So if I select use workspace version here, you can see it turns into 4.1.6 in the bottom right hand corner. Um, and that means that all of my IntelliSense and all of my help and all of my Visual Studio code is using the same version of TypeScript as the project. So everything's just nicely in line and it'll be a lot more predictable and you won't get errors because of different TypeScript versions. So that's the versions. Now, up until now, we've been compiling TypeScript files into JavaScript files and running them with Node.js. But where TypeScript support really gets fun in VS Code is when you can debug the TypeScript files directly. So for this, we're going to use the built-in Node.js debugger in Visual Studio Code, and we're going to enable source maps so that the debugger knows which line of the original TypeScript file was used to create each line of JavaScript. Now I'm going to go back to our simple setup with just a TypeScript file and a TS config. This version, remember, is using the globally installed instance of TypeScript, so you need to do the compilation step. Now the Node.js debugger in Visual Studio Code can be accessed from this run and debug menu option on the left hand side here. So let's get this working on the compiled JavaScript file first. Open up the JavaScript file and put a breakpoint in it. Then we can select run and debug from the left hand side and we can choose the Node.js debugger. Then you should hopefully see that it jumps into our JavaScript file and it pauses at the breakpoint. Like this. Then we can do all of the normal debugging stuff like hovering over the variable, seeing its current value, stepping over lines, and using these debugger controls, all of the normal debugger stuff you'd expect with Node.js. So in order to get this to work in our TypeScript file, what we need to do is a couple of things. We need to first enable source maps, as we spoke about, and we also need to tell VS Code to compile our TypeScript before launching the debugger. So to enable source maps, head over into the tsconfig JSON file and set source map to true inside this compiler options here. Again, you can use control space here to help you out with the field names and things, but I'm just setting it here and using it to the Boolean value true. With source maps enabled, we should be able to do the TypeScript compilation. And you can see we get this index.js.map file generated alongside our compiled JavaScript file. This is what the Node.js debugger will use to allow us to debug the TypeScript source files directly. 
The next thing we have to do is we need to tell VS Code to run the TypeScript compiler before launching the debugger. So to do that, we select Run and Debug in the menu, and then we choose this Create Launch JSON File option here. This Launch JSON File is what VS Code uses to configure what happens when you click the Debug and Run um, button, or if you hit the shortcut key, F5, um, this Launch JSON File it will give you the configuration of what VS Code does when you start the debugger. In this Launch JSON File, we can add a field called Pre-Launch Task. So this is the task that VS Code will execute before launching the debugger. And that will be our TSC compile command. So it will look like this. Now that's everything we need to set up the debugger and be able to debug TypeScript. So remove the breakpoint from the JavaScript file and then add it into the TypeScript file. And then what we do is we hit F5 and we wait for the debugger to kick in. So you can see we're uh, doing the compilation step and it's going to start the debugger. And there we go, the debugger has broken on our breakpoint inside the TypeScript file. So from here you can access all of the normal debugging features that you'd be used to in any other debugging experience. Cool, TypeScript really does make writing JavaScript applications a whole lot easier and a whole lot quicker. If you get your development environment set up like we've seen in this video, then you'll have a really fun and productive experience writing and debugging TypeScript. As always, if you found this video useful, then please subscribe to my channel and put any comments in the comments section below. I upload tips and guides and general software development content every week on YouTube and on traintocode.com. My name's James and here's a few links to some of my other videos. I'll see you in the next one.